Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having a Libra sun and a Cancer ascendant in a natal chart. Now, these signs are square by sign. Uh, the one thing they have in common is that they're both cardinal signs. They're both about initiative and staying busy, being active. A lot of this person might have a lot of projects maybe even going on simultaneously. Uh, this is this is, could be an active uh, placement, but I mean combination not placement. But the the two placements, the combination of them can can produce a lot of activity, and it could be strongly connected, of course, at Libra with partnerships, relationships, and Cancer uh, with the family and the home. So. Um, well, as far as this combination goes, these, these they're very different, even though they're both cardinal signs. Uh, Libra, of course, is, is masculine. It's extroverted. They're very sociable, can be very, uh, they like to appease people. They could be very in, engaging. They're, they're the type of people that, that are good as far as parties and, and where lots of people congregate and can always strike up conversation. Uh, it seems like they're very charming and can be very polite. And you have now Cancer Ascendant um, is, of course, it's a feminine sign. It's introverted. It's more of a homebody. It's more about being at home and less about extroversion and being around uh, lots of people. It's really uh, more. They could also be a little Cancer Ascendant will make the Libra Sun like this person a little bit more temperamental and moving, not quite moody, not quite as even tempered. And in my, and also Cancer or Sun can be emotional and sensitive and, and show a more vulnerable uh, side on the first impression. And it could really strongly camouflage or cloak the, the, Lib the charming and engaging a Libra Sun person. Now, when you look at the Sun sign and the Ascendant, the Sun sign can represent one's basic ones. And the rising sign or ascendant can represent the manner or method in which one attains these basic wants. Now, with the sun and Libra, the basic wants are connected uh, with relationships, partnerships, wanting justice, wanting equality, uh, things to be equitable and fair, uh, things uh, having, having peace, and that could include inner peace, I believe, as well. And this person may go about doing these a uh, number of these things, perhaps with uh, the cancer, uh, perhaps in an indirect cancer rising method, perhaps with a lot of emotion and a lot of sensitivity. And this could be somebody that, that really they, they look at their relationships and when they, when they having these, these Libra basic wants, they may uh, go look for them and, and see these people are, uh, might, might be seen as family members. And I'm not just talking about like a p potential prospective significant other. I'm talking about people that are, are friends, acquaintances, or more, well, more friends, not really acquaintances, I guess. But I had a, a friend, a friend of mine had, I don't know if he still works or he worked in the fast food place and he was a Libra with cancer rising. And he was someone, he told me one time, he, he said that he uh, kind of looks and, and tries to find his own family, I guess, through people he, he meets and, and, and looks at a lot of, I guess you could say, strong friendships as like simulated uh, family members. So this kind of epitomizes, I think, the, the Libra, Sun, Cancer, Ascendant combination. And this person may attain perhaps some of these uh, Libra basic ones, perhaps through uh, a Cancer type profession. It could be through... Uh, say through cultivating, gardening, things around the home, home renovation, uh, real estate, uh, perhaps maybe even working as a chef or, or doing something uh, with cooking. Uh, this person might even incorporate the Libra and Cancer energy into, into something like home, uh, home design or doing something where, where art is, is at their home. It could be someone that sells art like paintings, drawings, sculptings uh, out of their home. So this is something uh, to look at and, and that and maybe that inner peace and, and that balance could be found through the cancer like uh, way. And 
as far as the justice goes with uh, with Libra, well, maybe if, if there's a situation where they're, they're seeing something's not equitable and fair, it might be pursued with a lot of cancer rising or ascendant like emotion and sensitivity. And, and also cancer rising can actually be fairly uh, tenacious uh, as, as well. So anyway, it's important to look at the aspect that uh, if, if there is one between the Libra Sun and the Cancer Ascendant, as this could show whether how these energies uh, may, may go uh, together. Now they're incompatible by sign, but if you have if you have it like say square, you have an adverse aspect by sign that could kind of exacerbate and intensify uh, the, as far as uh, perhaps a, a negative blending. So let's say that you have the Libra Sun at 22 degrees and a Cancer Ascendant at 24 degrees. Well, that would form a square aspect, which would be adverse and adversarial. And these energies would really can strongly, would have a hard time merging and integrating. And you might, even if you're not cognizant of your astrological placements or the person's not cognizant of them, they might have those feelings of feeling misconstrued or misunderstood due to the fact that what they're projecting in their outward demeanor, which is the ascendant, is strongly different than what is going on inside, represented uh, by the sun sign. And you might have those feelings of exasperation and tension uh, due to that. Now, however, you also can have an out of sign uh, trine aspect. Let's say the Libra sun is at 29 degrees and the Cancer ascendant is at one degree. That would form an out of sign trine aspect and even though you'd still have that incompatibility by sign you would have a little better integration and merging of this energy and they might be able to work a little bit better as opposed to the square aspect and it is auspicious and positive positive. and the same could be said for a sextile aspect let's say you have the libra sun at one degree and you have a cancer ascendant at 29 degree this would form an out of sign sextile aspect and you could still have that that positive blending of energy which would make the, the these incompatible signs work a little bit better as opposed to the square aspect or not having an aspect period also look and see what house the libra sun is posited in is even though the cancer ascendant may camouflage or cloak the or suppress the Libra energy strongly to some degree, the, the Libra sun may still come out prominently at some level in depending on the house that it's placed in. Let's say that the sun in Libra is in the third house. Well, you might get this Libra charm and tact and diplomacy and, and being refined. It might, might come out in their communications and it might come out also with siblings if applicable. So those are some things uh, uh, to look at and they might find that balance maybe th they did in their early education uh, as far as uh, that goes and showing that Libra fairness even perhaps in their short journeys ter in terms of where they go going one place one and then another place the next showing that balance so to speak now if the Libra Sun is posited in the fourth house well this could give an, an additional kind of cancer like influence since the fourth house does correspond with the zodiac sign cancer and you might see a lot of this Libra energy in matters pertaining to the home in the, uh, in the family life and in showing uh, maybe that that like I stated with the Libra the engaging uh, side the uh, sociable side the one that wants to uh, appease uh, people and in that charming side come out in matters in, in this in the home and family now if it's in the fifth house you might see the Libra charm come out strong in matters connected uh, with romance and their and their children and finding that balance perhaps maybe in their creative endeavors and things of fun uh, and amusement and if there's speculation well this person might put that fair amount of money on something but wouldn't necessarily uh, Put a prodigious amount, or, or really put any put a uh, put much, uh, be that extravagant in that regard. Just a quote unquote fair amount, I guess you could look at it that way. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the Sun in Libra and a Cancer ascendant natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having a Libra Sun and a Leo ascendant in the natal chart. 
Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.